These security and stabilization operations continue to produce results. Those who seek to derail the political process in Iraq remain active. The more the government of Iraq asserts its authority as a legitimate representative of the Iraqi people, the greater the threat from foreign and extremist elements who seek to undermine both stability and reconciliation coalition forces. And over the next two days, through a series of operations this week, we had the first of 20 Iraqi army officers graduate from the multinational. The Iraqi security force must be able to enforce the rule of law in an unbiased manner and be free from interference of illegal armed groups and sectarian militias. Public confidence in the Iraqi police is slowly rising, but will require continued reform by the Ministry of Interior. Baghdad city proper itself and the majority within the Baghdad province area right around the city. Over the last two weeks, the Iraqi security forces and coalition partners conducted 92 focused operations targeting the Al-Qaeda and Iraq network. These operations resulted in 48 terrorists being killed and the detention of 286 suspected terrorists. Among the terrorists were some that were closely connected to the leadership here of Al-Qaeda in Iraq. About uh, the, some new of negotiation, indirect negotiation uh, between you and uh... One of the key things that came out of these discussions was their request to accelerate. And it's not that that was a precondition they made for anything, it just that came out of these discussions. They wanted to accelerate the pace at which the government of Iraq was going to assume greater responsibility and authority for both its provinces and its uh, security forces. And so we, of course, uh, have started the process to accelerate that. Kingdom, specifically this group that called itself the Anbar Salvation Council that announced its formation. So I know that the government of Iraq is, is talking with Syria. Specifically, this is one of the things I know they're addressing with them, is what steps or measures the Syrian government may, may be able to take from, it, from the, its airport location where they, they might come in through to other activities they could do to help stem that flow of um, foreign fighters from coming into Iraq to begin with. How are the people of Baghdad, at least, if not the rest of the country, supposed to have any confidence in their police?